Hello everybody, my name is Captain Curb and welcome to another Yoshi Engine tutorial. Uh, this is a incredibly hard one to put together, so I'm very excited to share it with you guys after a lot of prep has gone into it, so I hope that you all are enjoying it, or hope that you all enjoy it, uh, very scuffed as per usual. Today we're going to be, I'm going to be showing you how to do a custom title screen in Yoshi Engine. So I hope that you are all, all are looking forward to it. To start off, we're going to grab some assets to put into our title screen little images folder here. And you can put whatever you want on there, but I'm just going to kind of grab some random stuff. So uh, I guess let's start with the stage back. Sure, let's just kind of slap some random stuff in here, you know. Uh, and then we'll go to, yeah, story menu. We'll grab this to show you how to do animated assets. Paste those in. And yeah, that's, that's probably enough. All right, so basically how you are going to make a title screen is you're going to need to have everything all nice and set up here within your images folder. Just make sure here. Um, and then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to whatever mod you are in. That That is obviously in the images folder. It doesn't need to be in a folder called title screen. It can just be chill in here. That is perfectly fine as well. Um, oh, for some reason Steam opened. There we go. Quit that. Um, and so what you're going to want to do next is you're going to want to go into data, your data folder. And you're going to want to right click and select new text document. And make sure you name it this. Very, very important. It's title screen dot hx. Yes, we want to change it. We'll click on that, and that'll open up in our coding, uh, in our visual code. And I'll open that up there. Just hold on a second. Um, so yeah, yeah, do that. And the next thing that you're going to want to do here, and the main thing that we're going to be investigating today is making a full-on, like, new title screen. So the first thing that the engine will do once it knows that you have a title screen.hx in is if we actually go to the game here for a second. Just jump on the game. There we go. If, like, if I click on this and I click escape it's going to take me to a blank title screen. Now, as you can see, once you put in a title screen HX, it wipes everything except for press enter to begin. To my knowledge, it is impossible to take care uh, or to get rid of the press enter to begin. So what we're going to do is we're going to add some sprites. So let's head back to the coding. And this is very coding heavy. This is something that you're going to want to know at least basic code for. If not, I'll have this script in the Yoshi Engine server for you guys to take a look at after. So basically, um, for for this, uh, we're going to want to put all of this stuff in a function. We're going to call this function create because it will essentially tell the game that on creation or initialization of this script, this is what it needs to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to create our a basic sprite first. So we're going to need two vars. We're going to need a var called curtains. We're going to need a var called background or BG. And both of these are going to need to be FLX sprites. Don't forget to put in the semicolon. And you can even just highlight, copy, and paste that. In fact, everything is will be an FLX sprite. So, And then we'll call this one uh, GF paste that oops somehow I got two of those and just paste that in there perfect all right so that's all we need for this specific title screen and then what you're going to find is uh, we'll add in the background to first because that's the first one so what we're gonna need to type in is our background is equal to a new FLX sprite with whatever coordinates you want. I like to use zero, 00 to start because it just makes moving everything a little bit more streamlined a little easier after. Next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to do 
Oops, I'm sorry. I am way off. Uh, so, or no, no, no. That is right. <laughs> I'm looking at my cheat sheet on the side here, guys. This is a little bit more of a scuffed one because I just, um, don't, I'm not, I'm not thinking of like, I don't know this off the top of my head. So I'm looking at a cheat sheet. Uh, next thing that we're going to want to type is dot after that dot load graphic. And this is going to load a graphic that is connected to it. All that you're going to want to do is type in paths, capital P, dot image, which basically takes it from your image folder. And then you're going to want to type in whatever the path is to your image. So if we take a look at whatever that uh, path is for a second, to go back to my entire screen, if I open up my mods folder, go into testing, go into images and go into title screen. As you can see, it's called title screen. And then we're just going to want to do a dash because that's what the directory is with whatever our background is. So in this case, it's stage back, stage back. I think that's what it's called. Sometimes I'll even be safe and I'll rename copy C or control C and then highlight it control V just to make sure that everything's right. Then you're going to want to add in the semicolons. And next thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to type in add BG. Easy peasy. But one thing that I'm also going to do just because I know that uh, I want this to be in the center of the screen is I'm going to put in its background dot screen center with a capital C on center and then just hit control say control s to save go back to our game here uh, switch this over to the Yoshi engine there we go go in uh, skip that go back and boom we've got a background look at how easy that was eh? so next thing that we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna add those curtains so go back to our coding here we can now add in the curtains and it's going to follow the exact same steps really. So all that I'm going to do is just copy and paste this code and essentially just change this to be those curtains. I'm just going to run over to my images here since I already showed you how to do that. Um, all I'm doing is I'm on my images and I'm clicking uh, uh, copy paste on the stage dot rename and we're going to also need to change these variables to curtains. curtains and I'm tabbing to make sure that it works tabbing again control s go back on into our game here and it's going to give me the error again because I'm doing this on my build the Yoshi engine which is uh which gives me that automatic outdated thing but don't worry about that you shouldn't have that on yours and if you do you should update your Yoshi engine and just like that it's still the background but I know why and it's simply a matter of making the curtain smaller. So this is actually a good segue into how to scale our background objects, which curtains can be scaled using curtains dot scale dot x is equal to, let's make this small to find out how much we're actually going to need to scale it. And what I do is I copy and paste that code and then change it to y. And that's it. Go back to our game. Click enter. Go through all those menus again. Uh, wait for that to update. This is going to be a bit of a longer tutorial, guys. I'm just kind of, I'm scuffing this. I'm like, I need to get a Yoshi Engine tutorial out today. So I did. Uh, but as you can see, there they are. So there's our curtains. They're showing up quite nicely. If we go back to our code here, now we can change this and figure out exactly what they need to be. And you can also use a, I forgot about this, you can actually also use a reload state, F6, no wait, that's F6, um, is it, it's not available on the title screen, sorry, that'll be for our main menu tutorial, which will come along a little bit later. There's just a quicker way of going about um, changing these things and seeing what your changes actually have done, and I'll show you guys that, obviously there. But as you can see, boom, first try got ourselves a stage. All right. 
you can also, and I'll once again use this as another segue, you can also change your curtains dot y and x just as it says. So curtains dot y in this case minus equals uh, let's go with 20. 20 seems like a safe number and as and as you can see there's a, a little bit of clipping on the top there. So all that we're gonna do is we're just gonna press enter to begin and once we go back it should all be gone and we should just be left with our curtains. And okay. Boom! Look at that. Easy peasy. As you can see curtains are now there. Everything's good. Life is good. So we'll head back to our coding here. <laughs> I'm misclicking so many times. And we're going to add in our GF sprite. So in order to do this, we're going to actually need to add in an animated sprite. So GF equals new FLX sprite. And I cannot type. With a with the same thing. So 0, 0 for me. You can obviously change this to whatever you really want to. I prefer using the dot y substitutes after because it's a little bit easier to understand when I'm looking through my own code. And if I do it the same way during all of it, it makes it easier to debug. Next thing that you're going to want to do for um, animated sprites is our gf dot frames is equal to paths dot get sparrow with the capital S, Sparrow, Atlas, and a path to the images. So the images folder, which in this case, if we go back to, I'm just going to use that same method that I already showed you guys. Rename, Control C, go back to here, Control V. Easy peasy. Semicolon. Next thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to enable anti-aliasing gf dot anti aliasing is equal to true easy peasy next thing that we're going to want to do to add in an animation you can also change that to off and it'll just make it look a little bit more pixelated uh, which is great for if you're having like a pixel title screen or something so that's totally up to you I like doing it for my own stuff because it makes it look cleaner so what we're going to want to do now is we're going to want to type in gf.animation dot dot add by prefix type in our animation which in this case will be a dance because that'll be her bop next thing that we're going to want to do is type in the name in the xml so if we head back to the entire screen here I can show you that when I click on the XML, there's a whole bunch of stuff here, right? But what I can do, very simply, is just copy this page, copy this name. You saw me click copy there. Go back to the code and paste it. Easy peasy. Next thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to type in whatever amount of frames we want. So in this case, it'll be 24. And finally, it is the looping option. This is if you want this animation to loop. Now obviously we do since it's on the title screen so we're going to type in true. Next thing that we're going to want to do gf.animation.play and then in there dance because we want her to play her dance animation. It's fairly simple. Next thing that we're going to want to do is add in our gf. easy right very simple it's it's not super complicated to understand uh, I'm sure that you guys will get it just fine switch back to our Yoshi engine here I'm gonna go in <clears throat> we didn't screen center her but I guess we're gonna find out where she ends up I probably should have screen centered her now that I think about it but whatever, whatever. yeah and uh, just as I just as I suspected she's not there but um, it, you can also check your logs with F6, and there is no animation called dance. Hold on a second. Okay. Um. Interesting. Let's 
take a look at this for a second. So, I've run into this problem before. And I think, I think it's a matter of the character not being there. Um, shoot. GF dot animation dot play. Then I will make sure to ensure that this is correct. Copy and paste our animation that we made her. Save that. And we're also just going to screen center this because it's going to bug me otherwise. So GF dot screen center Oop. There we go save that go into our game here wait for that to load and I'll just kind of show you this I guess uh, also you can F6 to close in and out of the log I forgot to tell you guys that oh boy and I messed up on the code <laughs> alright so it's just because I added this <laughs> Don't mind me guys. I'm just like I just classically just to screw up everything right now. Uh this is so scuffed. This is so scuffed. Um And now there's no sprite. All right. Could not find Whoa, that's a whole lot of things that are not correct, but that's all right because I think I know what's wrong here. We didn't add in title screen. It's the simplest little things, guys. It's the simplest little things, and you'd be surprised at how many times even a alright coder like myself makes these same mistakes. And I think it's really good to show you guys that I do make these mistakes because I'll show you how to debug them. And how to figure it out. Because as you can see, there she is. There's our GF. She's dancing. Very cool. Now, I'm just going to do, like, you guys know the scaling stuff. So, I'm not really going to worry about doing that with this GF. This background is purely for testing. And, obviously, that code will be available in the Yoshi Engine server. So, with that, that's pretty much all there is to really know about the title screen. It's just... A bunch of images thrown together in one thing. If you want to make it interactive, you can. Uh, FLX, like the um, actual documentation of X FLX tween, FLX um, loading states, stuff like that is really great to fi figure out how to do those more complicated things, as I won't be covering those in this video. This is a very basic level of understanding when it comes to the title screen. You can do some really crazy stuff. And I've done it before, and I've seen others do it as well. So it's really easy. Um, and yeah, honestly, uh, that's really it. So I hope that you guys all enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, I'm going to be doing more Yoshi Engine tutorials uh, very soon. And some of them are going to be getting into stuff that you guys really want to see that's just taking me a little bit longer than expected to make a tutorial of. As always, you can contact me on Discord, on Twitter, uh, leave a comment down below on YouTube. I'm slowly getting better at reading those. And obviously, you can contact me on all those platforms and I'll be more than happy to help you out. But with that, I'm going to end the tutorial here. Without further ado, uh... See you guys sometime soon. Alright, bye now.